and welcome back to my channel. I'm on a train. I'm headed for Panar. It's on the coast, it is, in case you don't know. The last time I went, I was frustrated because I wanted to walk along the cliff top path to see where it led. I haven't done it since I was a child, and I was curious to see if it had changed, if any of it would be familiar, and just what it's like in general. And I'd like to take you along so you can see what it's like as well. Just got on the train, I've got lunch in my bag, I'm gonna have a picnic, and I've just noticed, where has it gone? There, I think, I think that might be toothpaste. This is always a bit of a lottery, these trays. You pull them down, sometimes they're covered in detritus. Ooh, it's relatively clean today. Sometimes you get like tobacco where people have been rolling their fags. Sometimes you get a whole squashed pasty <laughs> and anything else in between that you can imagine. I generally don't put anything directly in contact with it that's gonna go in my mouth anyway. So I've got a couple of cheese sandwiches there. I bought yesterday some Ridges de Clear corn sausage rolls. I've eaten one already, but I'm gonna have some of those as well. Probably won't eat the whole lot in one go, but I'm gonna be out for hours so I can top up later. I'm gonna wash it down with a caffeine-free Coke Zero and have an apple for my dessert. I'm on a fancy train. Now I forgot how fancy the trains to Panartha. Oh, look at this. It came gliding smoothly along the platform towards me. When the train pulls up to the platform and stops and the doors open, this sort of flat bit comes out like that. It extends out of the doorway so you can roll over it with wheels. I think that's a great idea. And it's flush with the height of the platform as well, more or less. We're just going past Ikea, look at the moment, and that old gas ring. I hope our trains end up like this when they get all renewed to the electric ones, but uh, that remains to be seen. There are charging points here on this one. There they are, look, you got a three pin and a single USB for two seats, I think, yeah. The one I was on before this didn't, well, it had them, but they didn't work. I'm not on this one for very long. We're just coming towards Dingle Road Station, and look, there's a marina down there. We've just diverted off on the line. If you went on the other line, you would get to Kogan. That's Kogan Leisure Centre down there. Kogan Leisure Centre has got a fun pool in it, um, like with water slides and, you know, different depths and not just a rectangular one, you know. But since they built the international pool, not that far in that direction, I expect they've lost a lot of their business. But sometimes we used to go to that Kogan one when the kids were smaller because it wasn't as crowded as the other one. It was just easier to keep an eye on them. And when well, I say them, um, I only add one, but we'd meet with friends, you know. So, just a little tip for you there. I'm trying to work out the best way to walk to the start of the cliff top walk. But unfortunately, my phone cannot find a signal. <laughs> it found signal. It says it's 26 minutes walk, but I think it's dropping the pin right in the middle of the walk, actually. Oh, this looks interesting here. Turner House Gallery. Art exhibitions, free to enter, apparently. Open Thursday to Sunday, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. This actually signposted the Wales Coast Path that way down there. It does look a bit more pleasant, to be honest. It's a bit more off-road and a bit more pleasant looking. So let's go down here, even if it's a bit longer, because basically I'm out for a walk anyway. So the more pleasant, the better, really. Oh, look at those dicky birds. We've got full-on surround sound here. <laughs> now, one of my viewers the other day said that they were allergic to wild garlic. Now, this is a place that's full of the stuff. There's some down there, and I remember from previous visits, been whole banks full of it growing, so maybe not the place for you if you're watching. It's lovely to see the green leaves, all the little baby ones coming out, you know. The start of the new warmer season ahead. Hey, I said about that garlic, didn't I? Look at it, absolutely loads of it. This is a nice little route. Look at those big birds there, what have they been up to? I can smell that garlic. We used to pick it and put it in our sandwiches when we were teenagers. We'd go out with sandwiches for the day and just roam around. I used to have poloni in my sandwiches in those days, but I don't anymore. There's the pier up ahead there. It's actually coming up to three in the afternoon. It's not early. I was too busy to get out earlier though, so I just did everything I needed to do and then came out. I thought, well, even if I just have a couple of hours, that's something, isn't it? There's the pier there, right up ahead. I can see people sitting out at tables and chairs enjoying ice creams and chips and things. I'm not going on there today, though. I'm going straight past it. I can smell chips and also the sea, which is a nice, interesting combination. And it's a beautiful day. Look at this weather. It's flipping amazing. It hasn't been like this for ages. I've got a lovely warm breeze blowing in my face and through my hair. And my coat is cast off to one side. But there, look hanging off my bag strap. This is the most people I've seen out enjoying the sunshine in ages. Right, we're crossing back over because something rather extraordinary over here. <laughs> Yarn bombing 
en masse. Look at all these things. RNLI, because we're quite close to that now. I bet it's all related. Yeah, lots of them are. They've got their life jackets on and their colours, their yellow colours. <laughs> Oh, is it an angler fish? Look, with the little dangling lights. Aren't they quite, like, deep sea fish? Hopefully you don't need rescuing from, like, the midnight zone or something. Oh, I like this as well, look. Octopus. And it's got a cute, like, baby headband as well. Oh, that's been such a delight to see all those. I'm going to climb up a great big steep hill now up there. Oh, that's a good idea here. Look, you've got a fill your bottle station for free. I think that's wonderful. I've done the great ascent. I'm on a flattish, oh, still ascending. Relatively flat bit now. Just been using the facilities here. You might be forgiven for thinking men are wad, men, men's, but it doesn't, it means women. I walk past the entrance of a cafe here and I'm thinking when I come back, I'd like to come in and have a coffee here and maybe a snack or something. Cafe, bar, pizzeria, restaurant. Oh, look, they do quite a lot of food. Spaghetti, chicken dishes, fish dishes. Looks cool. It. That'd be my little treat for all the walking. <laughs> right, onwards. I see it stretching ahead of me. Looking forward to a good old yomp, is that what you call it? A good brisk stride. Feel the wind in my hair. Well, actually, I've got my hat on. I was thinking, shall I bring a sun hat or is that just like some kind of crazy joke? You know, with the way the weather's been lately. But actually, I'm really glad I packed it and I've got an umbrella in there as well. For some reason, there's a crow's nest up there just on its own. I suppose there's no ladder because they don't want people to actually climb up there and hurt themselves. <laughs> this section is way longer than I imagined or remembered. I thought it was going to divert off into sort of more scrubby, bushy path much sooner and it hasn't. Let me just show you how far I've come. Just carefully pan you around. <laughs> I don't know if you can even tell from there. That thing in the distance is that cafe. I don't know if you can even make it out. It's quite nice smiling at the passers-by coming on, coming towards me. People of all ages, families, retirees, people with dogs. I think this is it where you enter onto it. You know, it's been so long since I came on that path that maybe it's collapsed into the sea and sort of gone inland a bit by now I don't know there's beautiful beautiful looking homes here I'm wondering if any of them are like Airbnbs or rentals rather than full-time dwellings because they just look so nice <laughs> what a lovely view though It'd be beautiful wouldn't it well it would if the weather was like this all the time there's the entrance finally there are lots of little tiny flies buzzing about I can see them in the sunlight There's a little stream trickling along this part, not even very far in. I'm regretting that I haven't got more time because I think really half an hour is the most I can spend on this path. Well, half an hour and then walk back. And even that's cutting it fine because I've got a date night lined up with my boyfriend. It's only going out down a local pub to see some people performing. So it's not like it's ticketed or like there's a deadline or anything. It's not a gig for us. It's all right. But um, yeah, I don't really want to keep him waiting. When I was staying in Lisbon for the best part of a month earlier this year, the joy of it was it was so in the middle of things that I could work until one or two in the afternoon in the apartment then go out and film a whole vlog's worth of adventure just really locally you know within 20 minutes I could be out vlogging something different and interesting hello doggy there's a dog hello <laughs> soon to be followed by an owner I dare say oh here they come we've got mud so yeah that was the advantage of Lisbon but from where I am now it's you know it's quite a journey to get anywhere and then it's quite late already <laughs> hello <laughs> Just stopping to take in the view here. It's lovely to smell the sea air coming over and occasionally peep through and see it because it's been quite like dense foliage, so I haven't been able to see very well. I'm standing back a little bit because you never know with cliffs, do you? <laughs> if there's like a cutaway underneath what you're standing on, so don't want to risk getting too close. I'll carry on anyway, building up quite a sweat here and getting quite a step on. I just made a really silly noise and I don't know what possessed me to make the noise but basically what happened was a very very big bumblebee buzzing came right under my rim of my hat here and sort of bounced off it and I sort of went Pew! like that at it and I thought like I obviously didn't have any time to think about making that noise why did I choose to make that noise specifically glad nobody was watching frankly because it was very silly looking like the path has changed a bit we're sloping down now do you see and there's a, a thing to hang on to if you want or to remind you not to go over it and fall off the edge of the cliff We've got a field ahead by there I don't know why I feel all famous fivey all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm going to have to climb back up here later, aren't I? We're going steeply down at the moment. It's the Wales coast path, look. More views of the beach ahead. I'd quite like to be down there too, but we can't do everything. If you're not doing something, it's because you're doing something else. And right now I'm up here. And I'm the only one at the moment as well, which is kind of cool. I'm one of these people that aims for that somewhat arbitrary figure of 10,000 steps per day, just trying to keep myself fit on a daily basis. But lately, 
oh my gosh that's so gone out of the window because i've been completely obsessed with trying to work up some audition pieces to apply to go and do a course on my flutes in case you're new to this channel and problem it's been flute or walk really and it's been flute so my fitness is lagging a bit this week we've got a fork and i'm going to go that way <laughs> hopefully i don't regret this decision oops oh my coat my coat's getting caught on brambles oh what i was just saying about regretting the decision well it's only a little bit of mud i'm in a bit of a dip here i suppose the water's all flown down this way ew oh look at that squelching I'm not even looking ahead, so oh, ee, ah, oh, 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 it goes down to the beach. Oh, I tell you what, no, hang on. I was just thinking, walk back along the beach, but if I do that, I'll overshoot that cafe, won't I? And I'd rather fancy it. I'm going down here because I'm here now. Oh, looks a bit steep. There's a kind of funny smell, maybe it's just a muddy, whoa, wet smell. My foot slipped on that rock then. It's quite steep. <laughs> I think it's one of those ones it's easier to get up than down. Oh, better put the camera down for this, really. You'll just have to imagine me scrambling down there. Yeah, that was easy enough to get down as long as I could grab the grass with my hands. Look, there's the pier right in the distance. So that's how far we've come so far on our walk today. It's not that far, really. To be honest, it hasn't really been that long. Just having a little pan around. I think really because I'm on a bit of a mission and a bit of a time limit as well. We're trying to get out this evening and think of food this evening as well I have offered to cook and I'm thinking oh dear I should have just taken him up on his offer of chips <laughs> um it may come to that yet actually right what was I saying yeah I'm just gonna get back on the cliff and walk for a bit and then turn back to go to that calf because otherwise I'm just not gonna get home in time to do everything else that needs to be done today back through the muddy mire again Ooh, squelch squelch Probably helps if you've got long legs and then you don't have to take as many of the squelchy steps, do you? I'm looking for somewhere to put this camera down where it's not going to fall off a cliff. The risk is real. This bit doesn't look quite as bad. Right, hang on. I want to stop because I just want a little drink. Day. That's not too bad, is it? You're in the shade, so that kind of helps. <sighs> I'm going to walk for another 10 minutes, basically. Another 10 minutes and then I'm going to turn right around and I'm going to walk back the way I came and I'm going to go to that cafe which I should probably get to by R4. And then hopefully have a quick cup of coffee for 20 minutes or so. There's something dirty on there. <laughs> then get back to the train and get home, hopefully in time to not be rushed this evening. Vimto, one of my subscribers very kindly told me sent me a link to an article that Vimto, no added sugar, have had to do a product recall on some of their items because they accidentally labelled it no added sugar, but there was sugar in it. And I've been thinking, can I tell the difference? The way I can tell the difference is if my teeth fur up usually, if I've had a lot of sugar. I haven't noticed with these, but for me, it's not dangerous to have sugar. But obviously for some people it is. That's obviously why they just couldn't risk it and had to do a product recall because obviously just having sugar in your squash isn't a threat to most people. But a very serious threat to others. This path has been pretty similar, to be honest. We've got more doggies coming. Well, no, more doggy and owners. Yeah, it's been quite samey so far. Gravelly underfoot, as you've seen. Well, rocky, you know, it's been okay. Quite passable so far. I'm going to have to come back another day. I'm going to see if I can persuade my other half to come. Because I think he'll enjoy this well enough. And uh, we could start earlier, finish later and go a bit further along, I think. Take a picnic. I think that'd be nice. If the weather's good. Right, I better stop talking to myself, myself, because people come in and they always look at me funny. Not that I particularly mind, I think it's hilarious to be honest, and um, I love it when I'm editing my footage sometimes, and I see someone over my shoulder and they, they've been walking this way, like with their backs, the camera, I think, oh that's fine, they're not going to be in shot, and then they turn their head around and they go, <laughs> like it always makes me laugh, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm trying not to get you in shot. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. We've just turned a corner, and the hedge level has dropped down low, so you can see out over to that island over there. It's either flat hole or steep hole. Oh, it's flat hole. There we are. I have to see both of them to know which is which, <laughs> because one's steep and one's flat. Basically, it's quite easy. Got some houses coming into view now. There's a funny looking build in there. This part is looking a little less desirable with these fallen in the mud here. I don't know what they were there for. Do you know once? upon a time years ago 
and I wouldn't mind betting they're still here. And I wanted to find out, but I'm just not going to make it far enough today, I don't think. But many years ago, I used to come walking on this path and used to be able to explore old buildings left over from World War II. They were like lookout posts and things like that, and they always used to be there still, and I don't know if they are anymore, but they might be. I mean, you never know. It certainly makes it an interesting walk when there's lots of little buildings to explore, and some of them are underground as well. Maybe they've been shut off for safety reasons, I don't know. Anyway, look, I was going to say, I'm thinking of a point of turning back, and a big load of mud seems like a pretty good point. <laughs> this is a caravan park, actually, at Lavenock Point. I bet there still is. We clearly need to come back again and go further. Come earlier in the day, and on a day when I don't have to be back early. Right, I'm going to look around the bend, and then I'm going to turn and go back. Oh, yeah, a bit more civilization -y here. Oh, I wonder if that is... I'm going to have a look, see where we are on the map. Well, there's no signal for the map, but I see caravans up ahead, <laughs> so that must be the caravan park. And here, a little church, look. Looks ever so old. Let's see what it says on that plaque there, because I see a plaque. Near this spot, the first radio messages were exchanged across water by... Oh, oh, oh I don't know how to say that name. Marconi, basically. <laughs> and George Kemp, between Lavernock and Flatholm, 11th of May... Lavernock and Breendown, Breendown, 18th of May 1897 and this plaque was put there in 1947 to commemorate that. I remember seeing this actually when I was little and look what's behind it. It looks all shut up so I don't think we can go in and poke our nose in. I wonder if we can. Shall I try? Shall I be a cheeky chancer and give that door a nudge? Yeah. I mean I did say I was going to turn back but I'm here now, you know. <laughs> Let's have a little look. So this is St. Lawrence Church, Fort Road, Lavernock. So quiet. There's a shock of colour over there. Tulips. It looks pretty shut. <laughs> we ain't getting in there. Sorry, chaps. Just a quick stroll around the graveyard instead then. Oh, it's so peaceful. Those tulips, though, absolutely gorgeous. That's a very old, weathered-looking grave as well. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to turn back. I'll probably see you in the cafe because I think I've filmed quite a lot, haven't I? Actually, tell a lie, I'm speaking to you now. I'm, going to, I'm still at the church. I'm going to munch and walk because I didn't finish my lunch. I only had one of the small sausage rolls and half sandwich, so I'm going to, yeah, work away on those now as I walk, so that should be rather nice. Nearly made it back. Look, there's a play area up there. The children are playing in full swing, literally on it right now. I'm going round the back entrance. It's busy round there, thronging with activity. I hope it won't be too busy to serve me. It is half four. I've timed that very well, and I think that was more luck than judgment, but there we go. Right, let's see if we can get a coffee. I don't need any food because I've just been munching and I've just had my apple as well. Oh, they've blocked the entrance off this way. Look, I think they want us to go in the other way. Oh. <laughs> Good to me they might be closing for the afternoon there's a blockade there as well they've got plenty of places to take out though i'm trying not to film because it's full of children and families but there's a, another couple of outlets there as well and they do coffee here as well so i'm gonna go for it because this is the one without the queue flat white with soya just what the doctor ordered i thought i wasn't gonna get a seat but i've come around the corner and there were some benches luckily there's one there as well i'm in the shade now i can take that off um yeah it looks like the inside bit's all closed but lots of people outside Enjoying a nice coffee and so on and so forth. They've got ice lollies as well. I was tempted, but I'll just have a coffee, I think, and then head back to the train station. Good and hot. This is my view, nice sea view. Prefer it with the top off. I'm walking and sipping for the last bit. Can I just say, the houses are very houses though they're just enormous my house isn't that big i can tell you that i'm wondering if they're flats it has to be like this balconies yeah it must be flats that looks like a i don't know i wonder what it used to be looks like a church doesn't know that's sort of round column -y thing there that one's got like turrets and things you can't see very well because there's a tree in the way but it's most astonishing looking well this was a bit more pleasant going down <laughs> i'm back on panath rail station now in good time actually 10 minutes to wait for the train which is all right I can relax do a bit of language learning I'm going to do language learning all the way back on the train as well I'm excited for that I am gonna get back in time to either cook a quick meal or get chips with my boyfriend before we go out this evening so it's all worked out very well but thank you so much for watching today's video do feel free to give it a like if you happen to like it and there's a playlist here with some more videos from me in case you'd like to watch some more and I'll see you in the next video bye